Hello, this is Makai. Welcome back to the Keith Tucker Show. I am hip hop. Putting your company together, um, I know you need uh, different people working for you. How did that come about, just putting your whole organization together behind the scenes? Um, it started out with just the creative team. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have, I'll be honest with you, for the first four years of our business, we had no business infrastructure whatsoever. It was like me, a lawyer, and, and some filmmakers, you know what I mean? Yeah. So <clears throat> it was a lot of just, you know, I guess luck and just us using our instincts to get where we needed to go. And just recently... Um, we, we raised a little bit of money, and I hired uh, Paul Campbell from Microsoft, who put together the, the MTV uh, Overdrive broadband yeah. channel. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So now we have a little bit more of a business infrastructure. But like I said, for the first four, four and a half years, it was just us winging it, you know, just doing what we felt was the best move for our company and our product. Okay. Hey, we're going to take a short break, and we're going to come back with just a few more minutes with the QD3, and uh, we're just going to talk about some of the business ventures that he in, he's in and, and where he's taking us as far as the, the, the digital technology and all of the stuff that he's in. We'll be right back with the Keep Tucker Show. Welcome back to the Keith Tucker Show. We're here talking with QD3. Hey, Q. Um, so uh, we were talking about uh, the uh, corporation, uh, QD3 Entertainment, um, yep. and some of the things that uh, that you built this into and some of the people that you added to your team. Uh, yeah. What? Take me through some of the products that you that you have out on the market and people would know. Um, the first one we did was uh, Thug Angel, and it was a biography documentary about Tupac. Okay. You know, and we basically took footage that that we had from uh, back in the day mm-hmm. um, from when he was still here and brought all his friends together to do a really heartfelt personal piece on him. Right. Um, that did really well. Then we have the Beast series. Mm-hmm. You guys heard about that. Um, we focused on feuds, but really the real mission behind the Beast series is to, to show the whole story in context so that people can learn from, from our past mistakes. Right. And then... Um, we have one called the Art of 16 Bars for all the entrepreneurs out there, which is basically a blueprint of the rap industry and what it takes to make your album, to deal with the labels, the managers, um, what kind of philosophy should you have when you approach your writing, all that sort of thing, how to put a good album together, all that. And then uh, we did another one called The Freshest Kids, which is about the evolution of street dance, break dancing and popping and all that sort of thing. Um, we did another one about hip hop cops called Black and Blue. And, uh, that was my man. T- was that Thomas Gibson on that one? Uh, Thomas Gibson did Letter to the President, which was uh, a DVD that we did about hip hop and politics. Right. Kind of type. Yeah. Okay. But you can check out uh, QD3.com for, for more information on the films. Cool. Yeah. And so now you have a video on demand. You have an XM radio. Um, tell us all about that. Yeah. You know, basically, um, if, if a network was going to start today, Mm-hmm. and focus on all the new platforms that have come around. Um, that's basically what we're doing. So we have a broadband channel, which is qd3.com, where you can get a bunch of free content. And we also solicit content, you know, for all the filmmakers out there. If you have, you, have, you know, if you, you want us to air any of your, your material or if you're a host or just have something already cut, right? These, these platforms are available for the users as well. And there's an area on qd3.com where you can submit content for, for these platforms. Definitely. I was and, on there uh, playing around, too. You can actually um, uh, submit uh, some uh, some some rap lyrics on your website, too, right? Yep, exactly. Like Hot 16s and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Like, it's, it's YouTube, but we call it YouTube. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's cool. And, <laughs> and so then the, we also have, uh, we have, sorry, we and, have um, go ahead. Mo- mobile deals as well. So, basically... If you come to us and you have some material that you want to get out there, we can we can push all platforms at the same time. You don't have to run around to each outlet and try to secure a deal with VOD or DVD. We have the whole thing from short form broadband to VOD to uh, TV and feature films. We do the whole nine. Great. 
Well, man, uh, Q, I really appreciate uh, uh, your time today, man. And uh, I look forward to seeing some more of the uh, movies that you have coming out and uh, listening to some of the scores. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And uh, we appreciate you, man. I'll talk with you soon, bro. Good thing. Can I say one last thing? Yes, sir. Just wanted to offer some words of encouragement to people out there. Like, if you grew up in a situation where you feel like like the odds may be stacked against you, don't let society, um, and that's the great thing about the Internet, but don't let society tell you that there's only one way to do it. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, hip-hop has shown us all that you know we have plenty of self-made millionaires um, that were probably told their whole life that they wouldn't amount to anything. And, and they're here, and they're doing it, and they're doing it big, Jay-Z being one of them. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think that, that that's the main thing is don't let society make you feel like like you absolutely have to conform to what's going on because there's not just one way to do it. And I think that um, hip-hop in a lot of ways has helped raise the self-esteem of a lot of people who may not have a chance to make it otherwise. So. Definitely true. Thank you so much for that. No doubt. All right, man. I'll be talking with you soon, Q. Okay, man. Be good. Okay, you too. Peace.